Hi, today let us learn uh, G major in uh, different position, at least six positions. Um, the purpose of this is that um, we will learn, we have choices um, where we could uh, use the G major uh, chord. All right. So the first position I would like to share with you is this one. Starting from your uh, third fret, first string, use your pinky finger, uh, middle finger in your second fret, fifth string, and your um, ring finger, third fret, this sixth string. And you'll start strumming starting from the root from your G. And why we use these fingers? Because it's easy for you to, to use your point finger and your middle pink finger for any rounds maybe you So it's Okay, that's the purpose of, of that position. Okay, next is this bar chord. So normally this, um, most of the blues player are using this. You just remove this and then it will become seven. So that's a major if you remove this. Say. So that's the second position. So from your third fret, your point finger, this, you just play everything. And then your your pinky, uh, your uh, starting from your middle finger, um, fourth fret, um, third string, and then your ring finger, fifth fret, fifth string, your pinky finger, uh, fifth fret. Uh, fourth string so it sounds like this starting from the um, six strings also is that uh, make your the sound the uh, root chord the G so what's the um, advantage also of this is that you can also move your pinky That's the that's the use of this position. Yeah, or you can also um, this your position. You can also use this. It's just the same position, but you just started strumming from your from your from your fourth um, string. So it's just the same like yeah, this position, but you just move your your point finger going down so that you can uh, uh, move your uh, ring finger to the fourth um, string fifth um, breath so supposed to be uh, this is the, the position of your ring uh, ring finger is from here but you move here and then your this you just move downward your with finger so it's just the same so aside from this this all right so that's the second position and then the third one is this um, it's like a D form so from your because this is your G, 
this is also the, this is the octave of your G chord this one your fourth um, fourth string um, five fret this is your G and then you form a D so your your ring finger seven fret first string your um, middle finger seven fret um, third string and then your pinky finger eighth fret second string so it sounds like this Right, so just D, you just it's just like the chord like this. You move it into the fifth fret, so this one, this one. So there's also um, advantage of using this chord, like you can move this, from this one, like from G going to C. Because this is C, this is B. Your third, your uh, um, your third of your chord. So from this, yeah. So that's a nice position from this, this to here, this, this. All right. Next position is that this one. Mm. Ah, this one. So it's just like this. Since this is your this is your B, so it means you can also uh, move this going here. So your 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 point finger just just leave it there this and your um, middle finger will go to the uh, seventh fret the B chord and then yeah that's the position seventh fret six string and then your this is the um your you just leave it there your point finger fifth string. Um, fourth, uh, fifth fret, fourth string, and middle finger, sixth string, seven fret. Your uh, ring finger, seven fret, third string, and your pinky finger, uh, eight fret, second string. So you start strumming from the sixth string. So. It's just a G chord. Or like this, you just this position, then you just remove you move this here and then this your ring finger just move it to your third string so you can see also the position so this is how you're gonna do it you can pause the video and you can you can try you know what's a good thing of this because when you like from starting from G or you can going to B minor or you can go to this third and then if you have to go to C and then going to D so you're just playing like this position or like um, the example in the song of John Mayer so your fifth your third is there your fourth is there and your six is there, so everything is in there. And if you want to know, 
So that's that's a nice one. That's a nice chord. From there, normally when I'm playing this, I just use I just I don't um I just leave open the six uh, the first string. It sound um like G nine because of this is the second is the ninth of a G. So yeah, so just like that. Then just then I can easy uh, move my middle finger to the. Six, tr six string, seven fret, the B chord. All right, and the next position is this from your seven fret. So it's just like C, this position, but you move it here. So that's so why you have. It's just like using the capo. You put the capo here, and you can play your form C but without the capo so you can use your um your point finger sub um on the seventh fret this just play the the first second and third and then your middle finger eighth fret second string so it's just like this, so like this, and then your ring finger, um, your ring finger is in the ninth fret, fourth string, and then your pinky finger, <coughs> then fret um, five, fifth string. So. There's also a nice um, advantage of this using this. So you can easy to run through or like the runs of your notes. Okay. So you can pause the video and there's also a picture and you can try this and maybe at first it's gonna hurt to your fingers but you need if you used to do it so it would become normal to you so at least you have now five options playing the G major and now the last one is this it's still in the tenth so seven, eight, nine, ten, and you just play your your fifth finger from here. You can do it like that, or normally you can support with your um, uh, middle finger, and then do it like that. So ten fret, starting from your fifth string, going down. And then you can play um, 12th fret to your ring finger, starting from the fourth um, string going to to the first, uh, second, uh, a fourth, third, and second. You will play with your with your um, uh, ring finger, or even you just play most important is this chord or you can also play like this my guitar is, I, have, I have a small fret oh uh, yeah or I can do it like that alright so that this one this one this position so I hope that you learned something today so just practice these chords and just focus on that chords try to practice and memorize it uh, and the, and just feel it so that um, it will become part of your system of your body 
then even if without looking your guitar you can you know already raise it so it's just only one only one one side so, so at least you have a lot at least six options of uh, playing your G uh, major so yeah um, I hope that you learned something today again uh, if you like this video just don't forget to subscribe and uh, write a comment if you have something to uh, question and maybe I can answer also so okay all right so have a nice day see you soon all right